To get started on your styrofoam print, you'll first want to trace the shape of your styrofoam onto a piece of paper, and you can cut it out if you want to, but this is just going to um, be for your practice sketch. So sketch out kind of what you think you want to do. Styrofoam prints really work nicely if you've got lots of different line qualities and textures, which is why I like that artist Robin Mead that I just introduced you to. So mine is inspired by her and all of the patterns and different line quality she includes in her artwork. So after you've sketched it out in pencil only, on your styrofoam, you're going to use one color of an ink pen, which if you don't have, we can provide for you, and um, draw that in. Now you want to press pretty firmly when you're drawing your design in, because wherever you make an impression into that styrofoam, that is what's going to print later, and it will show up as white on your print. After you have done one color of ink pen, you'll actually want to retrace your lines by pressing a little bit harder without poking a hole through your styrofoam. But go back over all of your lines. This will make them deeper and um, better for our prints. So after all of your tracing is done, you're going to use Crayola markers because they are water soluble. You do not want to use permanent markers for this step, but you're going to go in and color the whole printing plate. So go um, around all of your lines and really try to get a good layer uh, without leaving any bald spots of the marker. and um, that will really help the prints have a nice vibrant color later on. And I'm not going to show you the entire coloring of this, um, but go ahead and use the markers and color your whole print. Okay, so you can see I have uh, my whole print colored in with marker. And I made sure to color it really well so I won't have any um, bald spots <laughs> later on and we're ready to do our marker print so um, these prints are kind of temperamental you really only get one good shot at it and then after that um, if it doesn't work you just kind of have to start all over with marker again which really is no big deal it's just time-consuming so on your paper I want you to write your name and then flip it over and then you will need to have a clean sponge and some water and then make sure you wring all of this extra water out you want this paper to be damp not too dry but also not too wet so we kind of want it to be shiny so I'm going one direction, just kind of dragging it across the paper, and then I'm also going to drag it across the opposite way. And working quickly, while the paper is still damp, but not too dry, not too wet, I'm going to quickly take my print, oh, I need to turn it this way, and try to place it in the middle. And once it's placed down, I need to keep it in that spot because if I try to re, um, reposition it, it's going to get all messed up. So rubbing on the back side. It's important that you try to massage every part of the back of your styrofoam. And we used water soluble markers. So what that water is doing is it is kind of like <laughs> activating that marker on the other side and pulling it onto the paper. 
All right, let me just check. I'm gonna hold one side down and check the corner and see how it's going. If you feel like you've got some bald spots or need to rub it some more, go ahead and do that. And fingers crossed, say a little prayer. We'll see how it turned out. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Not too bad. Um, I do think that my paper could have maybe been a little bit more wet from the sponge, because if you look closely, it looks a little bit speckly, but no big deal. All you need to do is just recolor this one with the markers and try again. So try to do at least two prints um, with markers and um, you'll turn in the one that you like the most out of those two. But these just are so vibrant and you can see where uh, wherever you drew lines is where it will be white, um, the white of the paper. So. Hope you guys have fun with these marker prints. I can't wait to see them.